Until one day, when they went to Shilo, when they went to Shilo, and this woman left everyone, and she went alone to the temple. And when she entered the temple, I'm not sure. I was not there. Maybe she knelt down all alone. And she began to cry to God. She began to pray to God. Say one thing only. Father, bless me with a son. She prayed until she lost her voice. Fortunately enough, there was an old man who was present. The Bible said he was a priest. Eli was his name. The Bible says he saw this woman and he went to this woman and he looked at her and he said, woman, why are you drunk? This woman said, no, Lord. No, my father. I am not drunk. But I have a need. I have a need. I have left everything. I left everyone. I only came to God. Because I have a need. I don't know about you. When you don't look like a person who has a need. This woman had a need. And she left everything. And went alone to the temple. And she began to pray. And she says to this man. I am not drunk. But my need is too great. Listen, your blessing is connected to a word released by someone who is an authority. When she was an MC, she said, Be mindful. How your leaders please, please speak to you. The only thing you need is one word. One word that can change your situation. Don't look down upon these people who are living. Because they are words. There is authority. The Bible says this when she heard when she heard Eli speaking to her. I think Eli said, listen my daughter. Listen my daughter. Go your way. And may the Lord grant your request. The Bible says for days this woman was not eating. But that day she began to eat. She began to eat. Because she held unto the word that was spoken by a man of God whom she did not know. That she, he is the one to unlock her destiny. He is the one to unlock her blessing. When you come to this place, may every word spoken to this place, may it unlock your blessing. May it unlock your destiny. May it bring forth whatsoever you need. Every word spoken to this place, may it bring healing to your soul. May it bring healing to your finances. May it bring healing to your body. Every word spoken to this place. May it destroy every curse that was spoken against your life. May every word spoken to this place shift every wrong thing and shift every wrong argument so that your prosperity will come. Listen, Mazalwan. This young man came and met 
Barnabas. Who was his cousin? And there was Paul. I'm sure this young man knew Saul. But that day, he met Paul. Such a miss call. I know that young man knew Saul. But that day, he met Paul. I know. They know who you are. But after today, may they meet the real you. They know your mistakes. They know how many children you have. They know how many people you have slept with. They know you are a drunkard woman. A drunkard but after today, they meet the real you. When they meet the man who has been blessed by God. When they meet the woman who has been blessed by God. Because the former has passed. Behold, the new has come. Listen to me, saints. Those who know your story, they don't understand. They lack a revelation. What revelation? Revelation. Listen. When we, when as we are about to build our place of worship, and when, 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 when I am about to build my mall, 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 in the site where I'm going to, going to build a mall, then I'm going to meet a man who is an architect who is going to draw a plan okay. put it on 3D or 8D or 12D I don't know right. and hang it and believe words are going to be written big and bold letters saying coming soon it's in jail okay. coming soon. Right. We have a masinia. Alright. And next to it, there is going to be a plan. Kuzo makoni plan. Drawn by my architect. Eto chola to everyone to show that there are shops that are coming. Ugo tige kunes tolo every side. Things will be this side. Ama bilita sobenga. The gates will be this side. Ama gates sobenga. Gate one, gate two, gate three, gate four, gate five, gate six, gate seven, gate eight, gate nine, gate ten. Chalo gan chalo gan chalo zofiga ten. You enter into a gate you want to enter. There are parking lots. But whosoever passes by will not know, will not see any building. They will only see a forest. But to me, the owner and to that guy who is an architect we, 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 the two of us know, know what is coming and we are just giving them a taste this is coming soon we are going to go. Let me tell you a story. Whosoever have seen you, whosoever might know your mistake, whosoever might know you from before, they know. They know. They know. They know. Okay. But the thing we know, out of that fact, God, Jehovah Almighty, and the Holy Spirit, who is an architect, they have already written and made a plan. 